Oh, hey guys, Keithy Six here in Fairbanks, Alaska. During the Christmas break, me and my youngest daughter, Emily, set up a 3D resin printing station, uh, a brand new Elegoo Saturn. So we thought you might like to check out uh, the unboxing and printing out our first little project. Well, so we just opened up the box and took out the 3D printer. So now let's unwrap that. Well, we got a tool kit with all kinds of stuff in here. Software, power cords. It's got a sharpened little scraper. Extra tools and parts. You know what this is? This is trimmers to trim away the supports. Leveling paper, gloves, funnels to funnel, uh, screen out your resin, some masks, another plastic scraper, and a USB that has this software for printing. All right, so we're gonna hook up the power. So here we go. Okay. So it has a network hookup in the back and it is has Wi-Fi. Whoa. All right, let's flip the switch. You ready? All right, let's pull that off. Ooh, hear the fans running? Cool. Okay, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see. This is how you attach the build plate right here. That slides on, and then you tighten that down. Okay. Mm. All right, so the table's all leveled out. All right, so we put the build plate on and we're gonna level this thing out. You know, see how it's loose? And then it goes up and down. So now we have to put this leveling paper here, right on there like that. So go to home first. It's pretty quiet when it's running though. Yeah, it's not loud at all. Okay, it's leveled out. So now let's uh, pick a project to do a test print. So what we have left to do is just to replace the resin tank. All right. So it is leveled out and uh, ready to use. So let's go ahead and pick a project and then we'll do a test print. Well, let's unwrap this. And check that out. And we also have a wash and cure machine. So we'll set that up next. All right, so let's pick a project. All right, so here we go. So 
Let's make that big. Oh. All right, it's generating a 3D preview. Okay, so the first test print we're going to do is this rook that comes with the program. It's pretty cool. It has like a spiral staircase going down through the center of it. So let's go ahead and see if we can print that. Okay, so I think we need to put some resin in the uh, in the reservoir there. Well, one thing we need to do is order more resin. So we did get this resin. And I believe it is beige. So let's use this. Pour it into the reservoir there and we'll do our test print. All right, so it looks like our test print finally finished, this little rook chest piece. So we're going to take that build plate down, scrape it off, and then we're going to try out this new Mercury Plus wash station and curing station. All right, so let's get our wash station ready. Let's go ahead and pour in this isopropyl alcohol. Filled it up about halfway. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the lid on that while we work on this. Let's go ahead and take that cover off and remove this curing plate. And now we can set this on top of here. And that magnet is going to cause that thing to spin. All right, so let's see if we can't. I need to put some gloves on. Check that out. <laughs> Our very first. 3D print job. So let's see how easy it comes off. Wasn't too bad. Check that out. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick it in the wash station. Alright, so let's lift up this rack. And we'll set that down in there. Yeah. 
So look, it's it's created a whirlpool in here. And the print fell down when it started spinning. Well, look at it cleaning away. All right, so our model has finished cleaning. Give me a paper towel. Set it right here. Look how good that looks. All right, so let's put it on this. And we have to change the mode from wash. Okay, well, we'll put that for five minutes also. And let's start. That printed out nice. It's nice and dry. Awesome. All right, so we can't wait to start printing out some more 3D models here. We're going to join a online club that has all kinds of plans, so who knows what we'll be printing next. Well, so here is our second project. This is a uh, Narto. We tried to make a bigger one, but it was so heavy, it fell off the building plate. Good detail, though. So let's check out this uh, second little project here. Ooh, came right off. Okay, now come up here. All right, so that finished the washing and curing part. Check that out. You see his little headbands in the back and his spiky hair. Pretty nice. All right, so I just wanted to show you, check this out. My daughter painted that, it looks pretty good. I like his hair. <laughs> All right, so we're working on our next model, which is a Digimon.